Hey guys, Jay here. Today's video is just going to be a quick video on transportation options or hauling options for your kayak, especially if you have a smaller size truck like I do, or even if you have a larger size truck but larger kayaks, and that is to use a truck bed extension. They can be bought anywhere and online. I got mine for $59.99 at Princess Auto, and it was the best deal I could find at the time, and I'm very happy with it. The quality is good, and uh, it's a great option rather than me leaning it up in the back of my truck like this or laying it flat with the tailgate down, but it's unsupported for four or five feet. Um, my tailgate or my box in my truck, the bed is five feet long and my kayak is 10 feet long. So I would have four to five feet hanging over with no support or it'd be sitting straight up like this and I'm not gonna put it on the roof. So the option is the truck bed extender and I, it's a great option and uh, trust me, it's easy. You won't regret it. It's also easy for you to drag your kayak up and down when you're trying to load it, especially some of these kayaks that are pretty heavy. Um, I'm fortunate mine's only about 40 pounds, so it's easy for me to just lift on, but if I'm feeling tired or lazy, it's easy just to drag it on. And uh, the other thing in this video is I'm gonna do a pool noodle hack, which is uh, to put a, a pad or some shock absorbency on the actual frame of the truck bed extension to uh, pr better protect the underside and keel of the kayak. And that's to use a pool noodle. So the pool noodle hack will be very easy. It's uh, I, I chose red. Uh, I chose the biggest one I could find because there's a smaller size pool noodle. And I'm just going to cut it to length of the T-section of the uh, truck bed extension. And then I'm going to cut down the center of it halfway. I'm going to roll it onto the bar and I'm going to secure it with zip ties. And that'll give me that little bit of added protection between the truck bed extension and the kayak during transport, especially on some of our really bumpy roads here in Manitoba. Okay, so a quick video. I'll show you what it looks like. We'll do the we'll do the mod or the hack, and that's it. So let's get at it. Okay, so here's everything required for this project. Very simple. So you got the truck bed extension and its components, the pool noodle, a knife to cut the pool noodle, uh, zip ties to secure the pool noodle to the bar, and a pair of scissors to cut the tag ends of the zip ties. Very simple, very easy project, and so worthwhile. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so now these are 11 inch cables. That's all I had in the garage. I'm sure, I know I can get bigger, but this is what I have. So I'm using 11 inch cables. Probably what I'm going to do is take a lighter and just uh, round off or burn off the, the snipped ends here just so they're a little bit softer and not as sharp or pointy. But as you can see, I'm going to work my way along that noodle now. And it's not permanent, so if I ever want to use this to haul wood or lumber out of the, the box of the truck. But this is an excellent option to protect your kayak and uh, have a happy day. You could even use the, uh, you could even use electrical tape and duct tape, but uh, I prefer using these because it's less permanent, and I can always cut them off and replace them. Because um, I may use this for other things other than just transporting a kayak, but. Okay, so you can see now I've got uh, my security ties attached. I've got them in four, four places, which should be good enough. And uh, now I'm just going to load on the kayak just uh, for a reference. And uh, I'll just use uh, bungee cords because that's what I have handy. Normally I would use a ratchet strap, but uh, they'll suffice just for the demonstration. easier if I had the tunnel covered down or up rolled up. There you go. And again, I'm going to use ratchet straps when I'm actually transporting, but for, for reference. Pretty solid. And that little push in there will protect it. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you've got any thoughts or suggestions, uh, please put them in the comments below. But please like, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.